Around the world, the problems surrounding income inequality are becoming more severe. People are noticing more than ever the differences between the rich and poor areas of the world. This has led to campaigns like the Occupy movement spreading the globe. But how big an issue is income inequality in Europe? And how much of a divide is there between the richest and poorest in our societies? Eurostat, the official data agency of the European Union, recently published a list of the 10 richest and poorest areas in Northern Europe. These are the best and worst off places in the UK, the Republic of Ireland, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Germany, Austria, Denmark, Sweden and Finland. Unfortunately, these are the only countries included in the study, so if you're interested in the data on other EU nations, comment below and we might be able to make a video about that soon. Okay, so let's start with the 10 richest places in Northern Europe. Go on, humour me. Play along here. Have a think where the richest areas in Northern Europe could be, and which country do you think will have the most rich areas in it? I'll give you 5 seconds, but if you want longer, feel free to pause the video and you can comment below how many you got right. Okay, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hopefully you've made your guesses, so let's run through the areas in descending order. In 10th we have Darmstadt, Germany, followed by Vienna, Austria, Oberbayern, Germany, Stockholm, Sweden, and Roniger in the Netherlands. The fifth richest area in Northern Europe is Ile de France, unsurprisingly, in France. Fourth is Hamburg, Germany, third is Brussels in Belgium, and second is Luxembourg. Finally, the richest place in Northern Europe can be found in the UK, and that place is central London. Germany has three of the richest places within its borders, giving it the highest number of affluent areas. However, the most affluent place in Northern Europe is London, in the United Kingdom. How about the 10 poorest areas? Again, feel free to have a guess of where these areas will be. Which country do you think will have the most poor areas? That's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's narrow down this map before we start. Sorry if this zoom in rules out all of your guesses. So the 10th poorest place in Northern Europe is East Yorkshire and North Lincolnshire in the UK, followed by Hainaut, Belgium, Northern Ireland, UK, Lancashire, UK, Shropshire and Staffordshire, UK. The fifth poorest place is South Yorkshire, UK. In fourth is Lincolnshire in the UK. Third is Durham and Tees Valley in the UK. Second is Cornwall in the UK. You may have noticed a theme developing here, so you won't be surprised to hear the poorest area in Northern Europe is West Wales in the UK. It's pretty clear which country has the most poor areas in it. The UK has nine of the 10 poorest areas in Northern Europe, this may be especially surprising, considering the UK is also home to the richest area in Northern Europe, central London. This shows a pretty major difference between the richest and poorest areas in the UK, and illustrates the wealth disparity which exists in the United Kingdom. But how much money are we talking? What's the actual difference between the rich and poor in Europe? As we were just talking about it, let's start with the UK. The average household disposable income in central London is around £24,000 a year. That means that the average household income in the richest area of the UK is far higher than the UK's overall average, which is about £16,000 a year. The average disposable income for households in the poorest areas of the UK is lower still, at £13,000 a year. This places a significant gap between those who live in the richest and poorest areas in the United Kingdom. However, the UK isn't the only country in the EU with an income inequality problem. When you look at other EU countries, you can see disparities between the richest and poorest areas, with Italy and Germany both also having large differences between the rich and poor households. In 2016 and 17, Eurostat published their findings on income inequality across Europe. These findings help them to compile a list of the most and least equal nations based on income inequality. This data uses a quintile share ratio. I know that sounds dull, and I can hear you clicking away already, but trust me, it's really simple. The quintile share ratio is the difference between the income of the richest 20% in a nation and the poorest 20%. Therefore, if the richest quintile was earning 500 a year, and the poorest quintile were earning 100 a year, then the quintile share ratio would be 5, as the richest 20% are earning 5 times more than the poorest 20%. The least equal countries in the EU are Bulgaria, Lithuania, Romania, Spain and Greece, while at the other end of the spectrum the most equal countries are the Czech Republic, Slovenia, Slovakia, Finland and Belgium. The difference between Bulgaria and the Czech Republic is pretty huge. 
In the Czech Republic, the richest 20% earn 3.5 times more than the poorest, while in Bulgaria that number balloons to 8.2 times more. I'm sure you want to see how your country stacks up, so here's the entirety of the EU ranked by income inequality. The UK is ranked 10th, with the richest quintile earning about 5.2 times more than the poorest. It's clear that there's an income inequality problem across Europe, but the UK seems especially bad when compared to many other EU nations, especially when you remember how rich central London is compared to other areas of the UK. Because of that, and also because we're a UK-focused YouTube channel, we're going to dive even deeper into UK income and quality in a future video. If you want to stay up to date with our videos and be notified on October 5th when the video about UK income and equality goes live, make sure to subscribe to our channel.